All right, uh, let's define the concept for equality of two complex number, all right? Equality of two complex number. So equality means equal, right? Uh, equality. Let's say if I said uh, A plus BI, this is a complex number. It's the same as C plus DI, another complex number. These two complex numbers are the same. Of course, the A must be the same as the C, right? These two are same, identical. So A and C are same because this is the only real number for this complex number, right? Real number. So A will be C. This is the only imaginary part for this complex number, imaginary part of this complex number. So I can say that the B, the coefficient of I, is the same as the D, okay? Uh, this is a very simple concept where I can say A equals to C, B equals to D. So I, uh, I, in other words, is if I have this case, I can do comparison. Okay, I can do comparison. Okay, for example, for example, right, for example, I have uh, x minus two, x minus two uh, plus three i, plus three i equals to uh, four minus y plus 5i. Okay, for example, this case, right? Okay, let's go for simple one. Okay, let's go for simple first. See, uh? let's say if I have 3 plus uh, 2i equals to, uh, okay, let's say this is your y, and here I have 5i plus with x. Uh, for example, I said that these two complex numbers are the same. So what, what, what can you conclude? These two are the same complex number, all right? So very directly, you can compare the x must be 3, right? The real part here, x equals to 3. And the imaginary part here, you see, this y must be 5. So y equals to 5. Uh, this is very easy, right? You can directly compare. So, okay, let's look at this example, all right? You have to understand the meaning of equation, okay? Uh, equation. So this is a complex number, a plus bi, a plus bi. <coughs> So, when they said equal, understood that the real part must be the same. Okay, now, so it means that x minus 2 must be equal to 4. So, you know that x must be 6 because 6 minus 2, you get 4, right? Uh, so, then you look at this one. Positive 3, right? In front of i here is positive 3. So, I write 3. I compare with the coefficient for i in front here. So, which is negative y plus uh, this is the way you compare. So you can uh, divide by negative 3, multiply by negative 3, then you have y plus 5. So what is your y? You got negative 3 minus 5, which is negative 8. You can check. Negative 8 plus 5. Negative 8 plus 5, you got negative 3. Negative 3 and negative, you get positive 3. Uh, you are the same, right? So this is how you do comparison for equality of complex number.